Saskatchewan, the heart of the prairies, the center of Canada. And this week, we are touching on the 10 biggest cities that make up this great province. This is the Saskatchewan Real Estate Podcast, the show that highlights Saskatchewan real estate. Looking to buy your first house, your next investment property? Subscribe to never miss an episode. Here's your host, Ron Caroni. Hey, welcome back to the Saskatchewan Real Estate Podcast. I'm your host, Ron Caroni, and here on the podcast, we really love to explore different aspects of Saskatchewan real estate. Now this week, we are talking about the 10 biggest cities in Saskatchewan. If this type of content is helpful for you, or if you're looking for more information like this, never miss an episode, hit the like button on this, and subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this. Let's get into it. All right, so with this top 10 list, I'm gonna start at number 10, and we're gonna work our way all the way to the most populated city. We're also gonna to touch on factors such as the average salary, cost of living, and the cost of a property. Let's get into it, number 10. Weyburn, located in the southeast corner of the province, it's only 70 kilometers away from the North Dakota border. There are plenty of economic opportunities in Weyburn in the health, service, and oil and gas sector. So the population of Weyburn is 10,870 people. The average yearly salary is 57,120. The average monthly cost of living is $2,794. And the residential benchmark price is $213,400. Next up, number nine, we have Estevan, Saskatchewan. Estevan is also located in the southeast corner of the province and is only 16 kilometers away from the US border. Admittedly, I didn't know a lot about Estevan until I did a recent episode with Blaze Mutton talking about the great reasons to live in Estevan, and I was blown away by the economic opportunity there. Renewable energy, coal production, oil and gas, as well as agriculture, tons of economic opportunity in Estevan. And it's an affordable place to live. So looking at the numbers for Estevan, it's a population of 11,483 people. The average yearly salary is $64,151. The average monthly cost of living is $2,794, and the residential benchmark price at a low $190,900. Coming in at number eight, Warman. What was once just a bedroom community for Saskatoon, Warman has become a bustling hub all on its own. Even though Warman only became an official city in 2012, it has been the fastest growing city for the last five years in the entire country. There are 12,419 people who call Warman home. The average salary is $58,715. The average monthly cost of living is $2,895. And at a high mark, $400,400 for the residential benchmark price. The reason I think that price is so high is due to all of the new builds going on in Warman. At number seven, we have North Battleford. Heading now to West Central Saskatchewan, you really can't do much better when we're talking about affordable real estate in the province. The population of North Battleford is 14,315 people. The average yearly salary, $43,654. The monthly average cost of living knocks in at $2,895, and at the low, low price, the residential benchmark price is $188,600. Moving on to number six, we have Yorkton, Saskatchewan. Heading back to Southeast Saskatchewan, we are now touching on an economic hub. Last year, Richardson Pioneer, a massive agriculture company here in Canada, announced that they would be expanding their canola crushing plant in Yorkton. This expansion makes it the biggest in the country. Yorkton is the central hub of many area communities, and it also makes it the economic powerhouse of that area. 16,343 people call Yorkton home, the average yearly salary is $45,497. The average monthly cost of living knocks in at $2,786. And the average residential benchmark price sits at $213,600. Located now in the southwestern portion of the province, we have the beautiful city of Swift Current. 16,604 people call Swift Current home. 
The average yearly salary is $49,852. The average monthly cost of living is $2,895. And the average residential benchmark price sits at $259,300. At number four and moving into the bigger cities of the province, we have Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan. Now, I'm a little bit biased. Moose Jaw is one of my favorite cities on this list. It has a great tourism industry built on a criminal past in the 1900s where apparently Al Capone used Moose Jaw as a potential hideout and he was running liquor through the area. So there's a great tourist attraction that you have to check out if you are there. And speaking of tourism, a few miles outside the city is 15 Wing Moose Jaw, home to the Snowbirds. If you've never heard of the Snowbirds, quickly pause this video, open up another link on YouTube and type in Snowbirds Jet Demonstration and you'll be blown away. All right, let's get into some of the details of Moose Jaw. It has a population of 33,890 people. The average salary in Moose Jaw is $47,703. The average monthly cost of living is $2,812. And the residential benchmark price is $220,600. At number three, we have the gateway to the north, Prince Albert. Just to the north of Prince Albert, you have access to some of the most pristine nature in all of Canada. You are literally a short drive away from world-class fishing, hunting, bird watching, and of course, beautiful boreal forest. The city of Prince Albert has a population of 35,926 people. The average salary in PA is $44,785. The average monthly cost of living, slightly higher than the others on the list, $3,069. And the residential benchmark price, $188,300. All right, moving into the top two and now the really big cities in Saskatchewan. At number two, we have Regina, Saskatchewan. Regina is home to our very favorite sports team in the province, the Canadian Football League's Saskatchewan Rough Riders. Regina is the capital city of Saskatchewan. It's a very big tourist hub in the more southern part of the province. There's lots to do and see in the beautiful Queen City. So going through the numbers, Regina has a population of 215,106 people. The average yearly salary for a person living in Regina is $53,458. The average monthly cost of living is $2,714. And the residential benchmark price sits at $268,000. All right, a quick bonus entry here. Before we get to number one on the list, I wanted to make a quick shout out to Lloyd Minster, Saskatchewan, population of 31,140, kind of. It's hard to categorize Lloyd Minster because it sits right in the middle of the Saskatchewan-Alberta border. So for that reason, it did not make the top 10, but it is a great city, so it does deserve an honorable mention. And last but not least, number one, the most populated city in Saskatchewan is Saskatoon. Saskatoon is the economic headquarters of a lot of industries from service to mining. Saskatoon is, I would say, the economic headquarters of the province. Many big companies, big industries choose to be based in Saskatoon. Saskatoon could also be described as a festival city with many events taking place year round. And lastly, let's get into the numbers. Saskatoon has a population of 246,376 people. People make on average a yearly salary of $52,090. The average monthly cost of living is $2,697 and the residential benchmark price comes in at $331,400. Hey, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of the Saskatchewan Real Estate Podcast explaining the 10 biggest cities in the province. Now we have done deep dives on basically all of these cities in previous episodes. If you're looking for a more in-depth take on some of these cities, feel free to check out more of the great content we have here on the channel. Until next week, I'm Ron Caroni, your Saskatchewan mortgage professional. Bye for now.